Unfortunately, you know, I don't think we've increased the costs very much for anyone who's looking to interfere. Um, in fact, the costs that we have imposed have been undermined by uh, the president and his advisors who are often courting folks like Vladimir Putin um, and, you know, joking about foreign interference. Uh, I think once President Trump turned to Putin at a, a news conference and said, ah, fake news, I know you've got a problem with that too. And they joked about it, which was a horrifying uh, moment for, for me as a scholar of disinformation. Um, so all of that good work is being undercut. We've not imposed costs. Uh, and, it, and this stuff is cheap to begin with. So um, I don't think there's really any deterrent factor. So uh, while the social media platforms have put some walls in place, those walls aren't very high. Bad actors can easily scale them if they want to. They can go under them into the creepy basement of social media that is, you know, Facebook groups and encrypted messengers in order to seed and, and amplify messages there. Um, I'm worried about that stuff, but I'm also worried about, you know, domestic political polarization. There's not much that bad actors need to do to uh, really increase the rancor in our, uh, our current national discourse, and that's extremely worrisome for me. Um, there's, there's a couple of uh, inflection points that I'm worried about. It's, it's very likely that uh, our, our results won't come as quickly as we are used to having them because we're going to have so many mail-in ballots. I hope that we will see our uh, secretaries of state who run our elections um, in the federal system uh, explaining to their local voters that, you know, things are going to take longer this year. I hope the media are messaging about that as well. I hope to see some other parts of the federal government messaging about it um, so that people don't uh, think of a delay as, you know, something has gone wrong. Um, we should be willing and, and ready to wait until perhaps the next morning, if not afternoon, to, to understand what the results are saying um, and understand, you know, that there are probably actors out there who are trying to manipulate the infrastructure. Hopefully they won't be successful, um, but we shouldn't buy every narrative we hear about either a long line or a mishap with voting machines. Um, this is going to be, our, I think, our real vulnerability. And if there's any doubt cast on the integrity of the election process, that's all you need um, for people not to buy the results. And that's a very scary thing. So again, I think this is about proactive strategic communication uh, related to expectations around what the democratic process is going to look like this year. And hopefully that can counter any funny business, whether that's coming from inside or outside of the house.